Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Vinyl Tech Asterisk Alert featuring Subaru Impreza WRX meets IE and hey let's take a look at the box and that's a pretty decent looking police car by the way there's good old IE and quite frankly I've never seen a police woman here in Japan dressed like that unless in, she's in a prison movie but that's a different story altogether there it is Vinyl Tech Asterisk Alert Yep, there we go, 124th scale, made by Takara Tomi, or back Takara before it was Takara Tomi, back in 2005, licensed by Subaru. So you can see the side over here, the changes, the little features, 124th scale, so she's about two, two and a half inches, something like that. Here's the back of the box, nice little cartoon, hold her good old IE. She, alright, little police vehicle. Yeah, she has a little headset, never noticed that before. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, the side over here. All right, let's get, go ahead and take a look at the car over here. And it is, is customary for a lot of the alternators line. Man, it does have a lot of features, and I really appreciate that. Uh, something I like about that. It goes with a lot of the features. It rolls up pretty well. And it does have this gimmick over here where both wheels rotate at the same time. And the front, front wheel drive over here. So one of the things, is that things uh, on the transformation is that I can't get it to tab or peg in properly and that's one of the things I really don't like about that I mean it rolls well enough no doubt but hey it looks pretty good it even has a lot of details so let's go ahead and focus on these details a little bit more first of all we got the uh, Japanese writing for the police and don't ask me what that means uh, this uh, rear drive mirror and it does pretty good detail on that car handles already are molded in and this is actually a lot of die cast so it's a pretty heavy vehicle you got the detailing on the gauges over there you can pretty much tell the steering wheel the shifter column the ignition key here's the detail on the seats over here you can see the detail on the knot or the radio and GPS or whatever the things are I forget that little silver colored thing in there it's kind of difficult to see Look at the emergency brake, the stick shift. Man, it's just having difficulty trying to zoom in there. There we go. E-brake. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, so a lot of detail. It is a four-door, even though you can't really sit in the back over here. That's all right. Speaking of detail, and not only can you do that, you have the detail in the front, the rear or the front headlights. You know, fog lights, a little Koban police symbol, Autobot symbol on the front, look at the gold rims, I love that, siren on the top, very clear blue, or oh, sorry, red plastic, Clear. you can clearly see right through there, the rear windshield, here's the back with the kanji again, it says police, WRX, STI, red Autobot symbol, alert, vanity plate, chrome muffler, and from underneath they hide the, what do you call that, a lot of the robot extras are pretty well hidden. You can kind of see this. So it rolls pretty well. What can I say? A lot of good detail. And let's go ahead and show our little, what do you call that? A little whatever partner, IE. <laughs> there is IE over there with her wand. And there we go. Her wand, headset. And if you can read, if you can see that says convoy see so a picture of optimus prime right there as far as articulation she has that waist articulation which i completely moved head bobbles up and down has and her arms move up and down so that's about it no leg articulation and just to show you she does fit in there okay so if you wanted to have her drive you certainly can Oh, you'll have to take my word for it. And as you can see, her legs pop off. She does have this alternate form right here. There we go. And of course she has a steering wheel arm, so if you want to replace her arms, you can do that too. So we're just going to set that on the side over there. Alright, enough about IE. I mean, after all, we're going to go ahead and base our little transformation on alert. And... Uh, for the car, it looks okay. If it tabbed up better, it probably would be better. I, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. And let's see if I can get the detail again so you can see a little bit better. Alright. 
and I don't know why it's having trouble focusing. Okay, yeah, shifter knob, whatever. All right, you can kind of make out the detail. All right, let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. I've blabbed enough, five minutes already. Woohoo! All right, first thing we're gonna do is rotate it 90 degrees, and we're gonna take care of the feet. Feet are kind of weird and accordion shape over here, so I'm just gonna move that all, just according it down, and move that, move his feet out like that. And there goes one of the legs, and that's okay. I'll show you what to do with the other one, because I'm out on the balcony and I'll probably try to get that. I don't know, it didn't fall over to this side, but that's okay. Same thing, these feet just accordion it up. So you want to have that up and move his feet out like that. And move this little bumper, and I forgot that the trunk does move up. Forgot to show you that, that's okay. Take my word for it, the trunk moves up. All right, once you got that, this is little heel spurs over here that you got to lower down. Actually, we're like this, so all I have to do is just pop them down, just like that, and it helps them stand up. And once you got that, you can move these rear doors inward. And of course, I'll get the other one here in a second. You'll have to take my word for it because it fell on the other side. All right, so after we do that, we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. I forgot about that because now we're going to move. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Put the front rear, uh, front doors up. Collapse these middle portions together until it snaps. And there's two little tabs right here, and they tab right in over here. The seats kind of glue in there. Not the best thing I ever seen. So one, I really don't like that. So next thing we're going to do is move. Move the hands, just move them out for now because we're going to need to take them out. And of course I forgot to take out the engine, which is the secret weapon. Yeah. Alright, what are we going to do? We're going to collapse, not ready to do all the transformations yet. So what we're going to do is on the back over here, we're going to move this up like so. And move this all the way down. And that's really important because without it you can't push the head out. All right, it's gonna be a pain, and it's pretty much a pain anyhow. And let me see if I can move this little tab. This is actually what causes the front suspension to move simultaneously. And yeah, I'll tell you what, that is one thing I just absolutely hate. Push the, I forgot, push the steering wheel down, and this is a complete mess. I absolutely hate it. There we go, man, yeah. If, if that was not a pain, that is whew, almost done, thankfully. All right, arms actually, what we're going to do is just move this over here. So, yeah, and it is a pain, let me tell you. I forgot that the tires, nice rubber tires right there. I haven't found a better way how to do that, so if y'all can figure that out, that's cool. Whew, all right, almost done. You can leave the tires like that, it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess uh, the transformation does have it do like this, so basically what I do is just... Yeah, I probably should have done it earlier, but that's okay. What I usually do is just transform it over here. There we go, just like that. So what a pain in the tuckus. And just so we can have... We're going to push these window, or sorry, the front... There we go. Oh, geez, that was like the most painful transformation I have ever had to do. Jeez. <laughs> All right, if you want to see, there, there he is with good old IE. Not very huge little, <laughs> whatchamacallit. And here is the little secret weapon. Yay, you can hold that. All right, let's go ahead. Articulation, ball jointed head, not bad. Shoulder is on a swivel, moves up and down to the side, double jointed elbow. It does have feet or ball jointed hands over here. Has a trigger finger so the, fr uh, the front index finger moves and the bottom three move at the same time. So not that, not bad. Has pseudo waist articulation. Knee articulation, kind of a weird joint over here. Swivel joint for the toe, heel, oh man. Look, it, this thing is a mess. I do not like it. It, it. 
As much as I like the alternator line, I just not cannot recommend this. Here he is with his pistol. Because he's boss like that. Yeah. <sighs> Size comparison time, right? There's AE. Sorry, AE. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave her down for now. And Sunstorm. So you can pretty much tell he's slightly smaller than your average Voyager, but not bad after all. Whew. Let's give him a rating. I really don't like this mode. His robot mode is just a big mess. I'll give him a 5 out of 10 for the robot mode. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got and I'll catch you all next time.